Hey guys, Samantha here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. And Merry Vlogmas! So I am so excited for this month. It's going to be filled with awesome content and just a lot of fun. And I have a lot of things planned, so I'm just I'm very excited. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see for Vlogmas, definitely let me know down in the comments. So for today's video, I'm pretty much just going to be bringing you guys throughout my day with me. So I have a couple of things that I need to do today. I need to get together a spider shipment, so I'll show you guys how I package my slings. And just all my daily care routine with the animals. Right now, I just woke up not too long ago. It's about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. And the animals' lights just turned on not too long ago, so they're kind of just waking up as well. So, first things first, I needed my coffee. But, second thing I'm going to be doing today is just going, checking on all the animals, saying my good mornings, and making sure everybody's doing fantastic. And then I do have a couple of things that I like to do with everybody in the morning. Alright, well, let's get right to it. Good morning, young man. How are you doing today? So Spyro always sleeps in this exact corner of his enclosure. He never sleeps anywhere else on occasion. He does sleep on his hammock, but for the most part, this is his spot. So in the mornings, he normally just kind of lounges around this area until about like 11 o'clock or so, and then he kind of moseys on over to his basking spot, which is right over there. But yeah. He always looks so grumpy when he first wakes up. And then plus, since he's a little bit cooler, like you can see his beard looks a little bit dark right now, that's just because he's a little bit cold. Alright, well, I'll let you continue lounging. And you gotta go bath soon so you can get warm so I can give you your salad. Spiders are all doing good. Scorpion's doing good. I'll show you inside of his enclosure in just a moment. Majora is, of course, in her little nest. I do believe she is done laying at this point. But she has still just been kind of hanging out in there. And then, oh, there's such a glare. This little lady, I think she has found a meal. Doing a little bit of hunting, and then these four right here are my newer jumpers. Well, one of them is just a male that I'm keeping from Majora and Pan. And then three of them are new jumpers, and so is that one right on the end in the shorter container here. But I'll show you guys them at another point. Good morning, Viper. Good morning, Penelope. She looks ready for the day. As soon as I came up to her enclosure, she came like running out of her hide over there. I imagine she's already probably ready for food. So typically in the mornings for Penelope, I normally just give her enclosure a very light misting near her water dish. And this is mainly just for her plants a little bit. As you can see, most of the plants in here are succulents, so they don't really need too much water. But it's mainly for the cleanup crew that's in here, because I do have some isopods as well as springtails in here. And normally, the enclosure dries out very quickly, but you can see that there will be some humidity pockets down in the substrate. And that's where the cleanup crew lives. So... That's pretty much just for the cleanup crew, plus if you haven't seen my video updating you guys on my live herbariums, I've noticed that Penelope's shedding issues have completely disappeared since I put her in this enclosure. So she's been doing really well, and it really doesn't bump up the humidity too much in here. It basically just makes some humidity pockets for the cleanup crew. But it does also make some humidity pockets so that Penelope here can have a good shed. 
but I'm sure she's probably ready for food now, so I'm gonna go get her food ready. Okay guys, so I have grabbed Penelope's food dish. Like I said, she's super ready for food. She came like flying out of her hide this morning. And while I'm at it, I also grabbed Spyro's food dish so I can get his salad nice and prepared. So today on the menu for Penelope, she will be having some mealworms. Probably give her like four mealworms. I do normally feed Penelope like every other day just because that does help keep her at a nice healthy weight. If I feed her anymore, she starts kind of packing on the pounds a little bit. She starts getting a little chunky. So this keeps her nice and healthy. And then I'll also be giving her some dubias. Dubias are probably her favorite. And waxworms definitely as a treat are a favorite. But Penelope pretty much likes anything that's moving, so <laughs> she's not too picky. Okay guys, now I'm gonna give Spyro a salad now that Penelope has her food. And normally I give him a salad around noon or so. This is just so he can make his way over to his basking spot like he has and warm up a little bit before he eats a salad. So I did put his salad in and I'm sure he'll probably be making his way over to it relatively soon after he warms up a bit. Normally he basks for a good hour, hour and a half maybe, before he starts munching. Today is also his insect day, so after he's done warming up and eats a little bit of his salad, I'll be giving him some insects. Good morning, beautiful. I know this is kind of a weird angle for me to be filming her at, but looks like this morning she has decided to climb. Which will be very good for me because it will make it nice and easy for me to grab our water dish because that's what I will be doing next after I check up on everyone. So if you guys don't know, here is my Emperor Scorpion's enclosure. And he's just a baby right now. He has actually grown quite a lot. I really wish he was out right now. He's probably in that piece of cork bark somewhere. I think, oh, I see his little pedipalp sticking out a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but he is back there. But for him in the mornings, he does not need to get fed today, but normally I just give the side of his enclosure a light misting. And there we go. That's pretty much all I have to do with him for the day. But if he happens to come out, I'll get you guys a closer look. I saw this little one when I had first woken up, but right now I think I think she is probably underneath her paper towel, so I'm not going to disturb her right now. But good morning, little Charlotte, wherever you are. Alright guys, well I do believe that Pumpkin is also hiding. She's most likely behind the background in her spot. <laughs> That's typically where she likes to go during the daytime. At night she will come out and obviously eat. She comes out pretty much as soon as I put food into the enclosure and as soon as the lights start going out. So I'm not sure if we're going to get to see her or not, but maybe we'll get lucky and she'll come out. But if not, good morning pumpkin. Also good afternoon. Her light does come on a little bit later in the afternoon. Around the same time my fish tank lights come on. So yeah. While I'm in here, I'm going to grab her water dish. I'm going to go grab everybody's water dishes, actually, so that I can clean all those out. And I did want to let you guys know, too, that I did actually figure out the name of this new plant that I put in here. So I'll put the name down below. Alright, well, let's go clean out some water dishes. I normally overflow Penelope's water dish just a little bit. Again, mainly for the cleanup crew, there's a lot of little baby ISO pots hiding underneath there. A 
Okay guys, so here is the little lady that I will be shipping out today. She is an orange phase Phytopus regis jumping spider, also known as a regal jumping spider, and she is one of Pan and Majora's slings. Now, she's looking like she's going to go out exploring. <laughs> there she goes. What are you doing, little lady? But this is how I package them up. She's going in a small two ounce deli cup with some paper towel. And you want a nice small space for them during shipping. Okay guys, I put this here just so she has something to climb on because obviously she wants to stretch her legs a little bit before her journey. But this is what I ship them in. Like I was saying, you want a nice small space for them just so they can't move around too much during shipping and wind up getting hurt. So I kept her in this container for a couple of days so she can make a nice web in here. So for the most part, she's probably going to be staying in there. But I did put some paper towel just to cushion her just in case. And I did mist the side of this little container just to keep her nice and hydrated during shipping. And I'm also going to be putting in a blue bottle spike, which I will grab right now. Just so she has a nice prey item. Alright, well I'm going to get her all boxed up and put into her container. And I'll give you guys some close-up shots of her. So I am shipping through Ship Your Reptiles, and this is my Lacey Act label, which is basically just you stating what is in the box. You have to put the scientific name as well as the common name, and then check if it's an aquatic or reptile, which in this case it's really neither, but Ship Your Reptiles told me to check off reptile, just because obviously these little guys are not aquatic. They are a harmless arachnid or invert, so yeah. I do always have to put these labels on the boxes. And this little lady is all ready to go. Okay guys, so now everyone has been fed, at least everybody that gets fed in the mornings. Oh, hi puppy. 
Everybody has their fresh water. Morty, what are you doing? He wants to be on camera. Yeah, everybody has their fresh water. Everybody's been checked on. You guys have seen how I package my slings. Which, right now, I'm actually waiting for FedEx to come and pick up my package. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that. So, right now, I don't really have too much else to do. Today is my day off. So, I don't really have to, like, leave the house for anything. So, I'm sorry if this video, video is boring anyone. But, if you're wondering why my face is blue, the fish tank light on my reef aquarium just turned on. My freshwater aquariums are still off at the moment, for the most part. Oh, puppy. But they should be turning on here relatively soon. It is now almost 1 in the afternoon. So, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of hang out, probably eat some food, and I will check back with you guys after my package is picked up. And when these guys need to be fed again, as well as the cats, which are right behind me, I decided to put a... Christmas hat on to be a little bit more festive and I'll show you guys what I have set up for Christmas decorations right now So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of chill out until my package gets picked up Here is my Christmas tree at the moment. I do have a fake tree just because I'm afraid that if I got a real tree the dog would try eating it plus my cats at least Willow she loves climbing it. Nala really doesn't care about the tree too much she loves the tree skirt more than anything. So yeah, this is my Christmas tree. Right now it only has the lights on it. Me and Tyler are going to be decorating it this upcoming weekend. I do have a single decoration on it right now. I put up a single ornament because that is the ornament that I had gotten from Wild Wings where I volunteer. And I literally just bought it the other day and I just got really excited to put it up. So I put that up. Here you can see the fish tank in the background there, looking very beautiful. And yeah, I do also have my stockings up. There is a stocking for Tyler, myself, Nala, and Willow. And then that one with the penguin on it there is Spyro's. And then the one with the paw is Morty's. And as you can see, I am currently watching The Simpsons. Good morning, fishies. More like good afternoon, but good morning for you guys. The light did just turn on not too long ago. I got this anemone like a couple of days ago. And my clownfish, I don't think I've seen it. Oh my god, Morty, what on earth are you doing? Morty! Morty! Come here. Okay. He was in the background playing with his tire. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, I don't think my clownfish have seen it quite yet. I'm sure they will at some point. When I had gotten them one, when I had my old BioCube tank, which I don't think you guys ever saw that. I was at my parents' house when I had that aquarium. But when they were in my bio cube, they went right into an anemone. So I just don't think they've really noticed it yet. They really don't move too far away from this mag float. Right now they are hosting the mag float. So I'm hoping that they will see it and move over to the anemone at some point. But it's only been a couple of days and sometimes it does take a couple of weeks even for clownfish to even host anything really. So yeah, I'm hoping that works out. But if not, I've got this cool little anemone in the tank. I was a little bit hesitant putting it in there just because I do know they can walk around and sting corals, which made me super nervous. But so far, it hasn't left this spot, which I'm pretty happy about.
Okay guys, my package got sent out. They came to come pick it up. And now I don't have too much else to do. I have to feed the cats and the dog, which I'll probably end up doing off camera just because they're gonna go crazy and devour their food as usual. I have to feed the fish, I'm going to feed Spyro his insects, and I have to feed Pumpkin and my mystery reptile, which you guys are not going to be seeing yet. A dedicated video will be coming out for him shortly. But yeah, so not too much else is planned for the day. Today was my day off, so I'm just, just relaxing. I'm probably going to be watching The Simpsons or playing some games, just relaxing the rest of the day. So I'm sorry if this wasn't the most exciting video in the world. I wish I could do something extravagant for you guys today, but it's already super dark, of course. I hate that it gets dark so early. It's like, just so gloomy. But yeah, I'm gonna go do all that stuff and then just kind of hang out. The spiders don't need to be fed today. I'll be feeding them tomorrow. The snakes don't need to be fed today. So yeah, that's everything. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. All right, everybody, that is everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the first official day of Vlogmas on my channel. I know it wasn't the most exciting video in the world. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing my routine throughout the day. Of course, my routine changes day to day. Like I said, today was my day off. So it was a day I was just kind of relaxing and laying low a little bit. But things definitely do get more exciting and like I said the snakes didn't have to eat and the spiders didn't have to eat but of course you will get to see them eat in another video and the snakes actually did eat in the last video that I made so if you guys didn't get to see that definitely go and check that out. And yeah well if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and would like to see more. This month is definitely going to be jam-packed full of awesome content, and if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see for Vlogmas, definitely let me know down in the comments. Alright, well, happy Vlogmas everybody, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. I'll see you all in another video soon. Bye! All right, everybody, that is everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoy the first official day of...